Ever wondered how these old discs made sound? It's almost magical how they work, seriously. These things can even operate without electricity, and there's no microchips or computer code telling it what to do, and yet they somehow worked. We start by getting a microphone. Inside it is a diaphragm, which is a circular sheet of paper that is sensitive to the vibrations in the air. When a singer or an instrument makes a noise, the air around them vibrates and creates sound waves. The diaphragm moves with these vibrations, which are then transferred mechanically to a needle. The vibrating needle then physically scratches the vinyl disc as it rotates, etching the mechanical fingerprint of the sounds permanently. In order to play the sound, we simply do everything backwards. A needle is placed on a rotating vinyl's grooves. It picks up the vibrations, which is then transferred mechanically to a diaphragm, which causes the air to vibrate and produce sound waves. Traditional gramophones used a spring crank to rotate the disc and a horn-shaped phonograph to amplify the sound. This mechanical magic used no electricity and allowed you to reproduce your favorite symphonies.